right so can you share the interview questions or the process of the interviews or how many te technical or managerial rounds were there yeah sure so like mostly if you go through the service based company so it uh, it will like uh, start from the technical round first mm -hmm. so they will conduct around two or at most three rounds so two is the uh, like uh, many companies follow two technical rounds and followed by one managerial and that chat and if you go through some uh, product based type company so they have they conduct first the online assessment which is basically based on coding and your some multiple choice question of the language the choice of your languages so then they will conduct some one to two uh, uh, this uh, technical portion uh, technical interviews and then uh, one manager in followed by hr so this is like four to five rounds you have to go through the company so like uh, some may reduce it to three but some may extend it to five but this is the main, like the main uh, round uh, that you have to give right and all the interview rounds that you gave were all those virtual based interviews or you had to come to that company uh, no, like uh, as of now, we all are working from home, so all are virtual. So, like uh, I don't know, like from this year onwards, maybe it is on uh, offsite and on campus it is. But as of now, I have done all the virtual ones. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. So, can you tell the you know viewers or the people who want to make their career in testing, how can they you know start their career and how can they make sure that they get a good hike whenever they switch the jobs, they get proper increments or proper appraisals in their salaries in percentage wise. So how, how can they make sure? What would be the process? What, yeah. what should they do actually? Okay. So first of all, like uh, don't fall in a trap like many uh, other people are saying like uh, in a testing, you don't grow in a testing, the limit is like uh, the domain is very narrow and you have to change the switch either you can go to developers to go some analyst things go from some data science project so there that all that all are myth i also fall in that trap and i lost the way in six months but i again like uh, trusted on my like the capabilities the knowledge i got so uh, because there is uh, if you go some like uh, testing is like a a way around like every company if you go see all the it companies they have this field they have their departments in testing so you do, don't feel that uh, don't fall in that trap like you will not succeed you will not grow in this uh, like uh, in this uh, skill but uh, yeah there are a lot of opportunities there are a lot of people like a lot of companies who are looking for the skill testers for the skill automation developers and everything so I trusted this thing. I trusted it myself, and I got for that. I like uh, now coming into this testing. You have to be very flexible. Like you should know all the manual part. You should know all the automation parts. API testing is very like demanding nowadays, and you should know this kind of all the these three domains of testing. And yeah, you should know about the tools also. Like in uh, manual testing, like purely it is. Uh, yeah, if you go to the manual, you should know how all the, the manual testing is going to take place, like regression, smoke testing, sanity testing. So these are testing, this basic testing you should know. And also like uh, there are various abbreviations given by the testers to the testing. So you should know, you should follow some uh, LinkedIn uh, people also the, who are very mature in the, this field. You can follow them, you can uh, see their uh, portfolios, you can see their uh, what they put on uh, uh, their pages so this way you can grow and in automation yeah, you should know like uh, every aspect of the automation uh, not learn that much you should know learn only one to two skills only like uh, if you are good in selling web driver uh, you should know about that in their depth don't go other way like you should know about mobile testing also and everything you should just carry the knowledge, but in depth, you should fill it in only in a one specific domain. So that is the thing. And also like API testing, if you go, you should know about the postman, uh, how API testing is conducted, how we approach that, should know about that. 
and yeah so master only one or two tool and uh, take a knowledge of all others and in this way you will grow in this and uh, yeah so if you are going through manual plus automation you should know some of the languages like uh, java is preferable one but if you have a knowledge of c sharp and python that is a good thing but master only one language so because no one is uh, like asking you if you are good in python you should be good in that so because everything follow dsa so if you know dsa better so you should write code in every languages so this is a thing and coming to dsa part so you should know basic about that don't go in depth like you should know every dsa every algorithm every data structure that is not a thing that is also not useful in the organization they also not follow in depth for this uh, dsa they follow that but you should know very basic like array list uh, arrays and linked list uh, if possible and uh, maps you should know how we can uh, like use maps in our codes like what are their architecture how it is like to store the your uh, values uh, back uh, in background so you should take the knowledge of that uh, and uh, also like uh, told all of this and uh, you should know some of the framework like uh, test engine frameworks you should know bdd frameworks to come by you should know so uh, take all the domains uh, and master only one skill in that and this is the success factor because because they know like you have the flexibility in all the domains so you should if we give you any work you should you are able to cope up with that so this is the thing that you should have in yourself correct absolutely so at least basic knowledge if we carry then it it becomes easier to at least answer some of the parts of the questions even if you are not thorough with 100% Right, so it helps yeah. in an interview a lot. Yes. So if you like, if they ask about like if you know mobile testing or any other testing, you should uh, reframe that like, yeah, I have a knowledge, but I am more like uh, capable in doing uh, web testing. So I had using this this is kind of framework, and I approaches that. So I'm sure like the mobile testing also uh, like do this kind of stuff. But although some approaches are different. but in background like uh, uh, some of the similar similarities were there so in this way you can mold that so because if you go in every uh, framework every uh, testing so it will take a lot of time and that time is not in your hands so you should take a knowledge and uh, master in some of the skills right absolutely okay so uh, how many years of experience you have uh i have the almost 4 years of experience as of now 4 years 3.9 years mm-hmm. yeah. great great so you had started your career with uh, manual testing and now you are in automation testing or you were working with both manual plus automation profile since beginning yeah so earlier like when i started my career so i was skilled in like i got an uh, training in manual plus automation only but uh, the first project i was got was on manual only and then from the second project there is automation took place and uh, from now like there is a balance between the automation and the manual and also like api testing is very like uh, crucial these days so every company is following that so these days like so it's a balance between all these things mm-hmm. okay 